That's it. That's a wrap. It's Friday. It's Kung Fu Friday. And you don't want to go anywhere. Because today we are talking about Tai Chi Master with Jet Li. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. What die had new tool? Naughty say you Happy, happy Friday, everybody. How are we doing? Good, I hope. It's Kung Fu Friday. That's right. And we're so excited. We get to figure out if Jet Li can redeem himself from the last couple movies I've seen with Jet Li in them for Kung Fu Friday. What do you think? You think it's going to work? Do you think it's going to happen? Does he redeem himself? We're going to find out. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. In the description down below are all our links. If they're not there, nerdyronin.com. Don't you know? That's the place to be. Thanks to all our new subscribers and old subscribers alike. We're glad you're here. Um, so, here's what we're looking at. Tai Chi Master. 1993, rated R, hour and 36 minutes. Directed by Wu Ping Yin. Written by Quang Kim Yip. Starring Jet Li and Michelle Yeoh. And other people that I can't pronounce their names. But I do know Jet Li and Michelle Yeoh. <laughs> um, two friends, ex Shaolin monks, part ways as they brush with the ongoing rebellion against the government. The ambitious one rises up to be a powerful military commander, while his betrayed friend resorts to learn the calm ways of Tai Chi. Sure. Okay. Let's talk about it, shall we? Here's a picture of the DVD if you happen to stumble. Uh, up on this, um, <clears throat> first things first, lots better than the last couple of movies I've seen with Jet Li in. The, the, fighting chore the fight choreography and stuff in this is fantastic. It's got some brilliant fights, and it's exactly what you want in your Kung Fu Friday, okay? Uh, the movie, it, it, the story is fine. It's it's well done. It's well thought out. It's not complicated. It's exactly from point A to point B. And it's about two friends who life goes differently for them. And they end up on opposite sides. It's that, it's that simple. It's that, that's it. <clears throat> One of them becomes a horrible, you know, dominating force for bad. And the other one finds peace through Tai Chi and strength. And it's fantastic. Overall, I would say this is a great movie. Yes, he redeems himself with this movie. This is one I would I would suggest you watch if you're looking for a good Kung Fu movie. <coughs> Excuse me. Overall, everything about it sings just fine. I mean, it's silly. It's fun. It's also sad, and there's you know parts that'll make you angry, and it, it covers every base that you need to cover for a good kung fu movie. Um, and Jet Li did great. Now I watched it in English, dubbed, because my DVD had that option, and I have company here from out of town, so I needed to just watch. So I cannot say whether. The original language translation and the English dub is the same. I did not look into that. My apologies. But it was a great watch in English. It was just fun. There was nothing that I didn't understand about it. The characters were well done. The scenery and the, the cinematography was fantastic. It was just great. It was nice to see Michelle Yeoh do her thing and beat up everybody. <laughs> And Jelly as well. I mean, they really put the work in on this fight choreography. <clears throat> it was just well done. Um, now, because this talks about Tai Chi, I prefer Tai Chi Zero and Tai Chi Hero as far as that goes. 
However, that being said, those are newer movies in relation to this. The 1993 was quite a long time ago. There's wire work. There's, I mean, it, it was just fantastic. The wire work was good. For the moment, like, it was 98% good. There's a couple of scenes where they slipped up a little bit, but it, it was fantastic. If you're looking for kung fu and fun, this is the movie for you. Now, it doesn't end happily for everybody. But you can follow this along just fine. If Kung Fu is your thing, this is a movie you should purchase the physical copy of. On DVD. You, you don't have to get a special collector's edition. or Just get the DVD. It's a great watch. And it's got some decent special features. So, this is one for the record books. I loved this movie. It was tons of fun. The, the fight scenes were everything I wanted. They were everything they could be and needed to be. It wasn't 1970s Kung Fu. But it was pretty darn close. <laughs> so there you have it. If you're looking for good Kung Fu, this one will do just fine. It's not great. It's not perfect. It's not like top, top of the line, but it's pretty close. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. Story, story was great. Characters were great. Fighting was great. Everything was great. <laughs> so there you have it. I know. This is a short one today. But I have family in from out of town. So my apologies. I hope you watch this movie. If you don't, I'm sorry. If you do, comment down below and tell me what you thought. In regards to it being a Jet Li Kung Fu movie. <laughs> I, I, I found this at the Dollar Tree. I paid a buck and a quarter for this. Couldn't be happier. So there you go. I think it, I think I made out like a bandit on that one. All right, you guys. I gotta go. The weekend is starting. I hope you guys have had a great week. I hope your weekend goes fantastic. And we will be back again on Monday when I'm gonna show you something awesome that you need to look at. So, for Michael the microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this silly fat nerd. We'll see you on Monday.